Okay, okay. Alright, now they get fly. Oh, they flies are egg. Right with you. Uh, baby, I'm gonna record, baby. So let me uh, let me do this. It's an important one. It's my belly with this time. We have been talking about uh, well, up until now, like I said, up until up until June, just doing you know, just blab blab and blab 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 blab, commenting on it. But but my well, let me go back. Let me just say this. And so of course I have to check, you know, what's happening in the AWS family and what we're doing and stuff like that. Um, uh, recently, uh, I just saw a post that uh, somebody did. Uh, they were interviewing Dr. Leonard Jeffries. And uh, if you don't know who Dr. Leonard Jeffries is, well, well look him up, you know. In fact, uh, what I'll do, I did, uh, when this whole thing, just, not this whole thing, but before, right before AD was hit, right, I had this burning question of, uh, because of my work in Denbaza down here, of uh, what was my tribe? Because what was my clan? Because they they have a clan name here in, in South, or at least in the in the in the, uh, in the uh, you see Kosa culture, other cultures too, Zulus, a bunch of them, a bunch of cultures have the same thing, where you basically your your last name is actually your clan name, and your clan name goes on and on and on and on. It's the whole lineage thing, right? So when I found out about that, when I came when I came to visit in in, in uh, New York, I think it was in 2015, something like that. Um, uh, I, I I immediately ran to you know, uh, James Small, my history, historian that I, I follow, that I, I particularly like, you know, out of all those old heads, that, that's, that's the one I respect the most. And uh, I, I listen to most. Um, uh, it does help that he was the, uh, he was the historian for normal radio at some particular point, but that's neither here nor there, some other time with that. But so I immediately went to him and asked him, I said, well, I know the claims. So we went through this, I, I, have it, I did an interview and I have, he went through this whole thing, it's very good. Maybe I'll post that listening to it. But then that same trip, about a few days later, I interviewed um, Dr. Leonard Jeffries in the, in the same space that that was. I was visiting um, Dr. James Kanye, uh, my, my fraternity brother. Anyway, uh, so we, about what's, what, what, what should our name be? You know, so this is all before eight years hit. So now I see this post that, that they did, a, uh, that person interviewed Dr. Leonard Jeffries on ADUS specific, uh, specifically. And so, of course, Leonard Jeffries went into this whole thing and, you know, this whole thing about the reading. So he went through it. But one of the things he said, which is absolutely true, and not many people know this, we know about this, you know, basically, he's talking about there's three components to this, to, to this situation, right? You know, you have your economic shot, you have political shot, okay? Now, and then you have to have your cultural shot. That cultural, sh uh, cultural shot, or cultural uh, for it, that's what my thing is about, right? So, so with the political shot, that's when uh, Antonio and, and Yvette really hit, you know, um, uh, Yvette Cornell from Breaking Brown and Antonio Moore, uh, the attorney um, from his uh, Tone Talks posted. That's when they hit with the, uh, with the political thing. It has to be a political thing. No one's really had that like that. When I say political, you understand what I'm saying. We're in the political season, so it all hit at the same time. Now, at the same time, uh, you know, had the economic shop. Their political thing has the economic announced because it's always working together. It's interesting. If I was going to forge it, I will not get off on that right now. But uh, and and the only thing they deal with, I mean, they, they take shots at everybody, whatever, every trying to get them on, uh, understand what ADOS is really about. Um, I don't think that's a good strategy. But you know, that's that's neither here nor there. Hey, get, die. Sorry. You know how they say, you know, you would somebody wouldn't kill us fly. I'll kill a fly and roaches, and that's what the, this system is about. The system has a lot of flies and roaches in it, and we need to do some exterminating, you know? Anyway, just a second. Oh, it's hot. Still got my moringa in here. I got the robos in there. I got the uh, blackberry in there. Some nice tea. Anyway, <coughs> so here's the thing. Uh, so so that's, that's what happened. Now, to me, I'm going to say the most important, only because it's my, my thing. It's not the most important, but it's part of this triangle that, that Dr. Leonard Jeffries was, was, was talking about. I will leave the political and the, and the, um, uh, and the, and the economics aside for a second, even though I still it. But the cultural, this is very important. There used to be a time, like when I first started radio, whatever it is, in the early 70s, you know, the records that came out about that time, we're talking like the, the, the era of, of um, 
of a Philly International, of, of Kirkton Records, you know, certain certain labels, s smaller labels, they would put out stuff. But always, interestingly enough, because when I was doing my radio program, at least when I started with my uh, college radio program, Variations in Blackness, and on when I started doing normal radio, other things, even on BAI, what happens, when a record came out in the, in six, the late 60s, early 70s, late 70s, even into the 80s, uh, not talking about hip-hop now, even though early hip-hop was really good, right before they got to the gangster rap and all that stuff. But uh, what would happen, you would have, say you have a record, you know, two sides, and you maybe have um, uh, six cuts on one side, and maybe four cuts on another, whatever, how many cuts. But you, it would, they would always have one cut that have some sort of political or social kind of relevance, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, reverence to it, reference to it. You know what I'm talking about. And so that, that would always be on the record. So, so, so for instance, uh, I was doing, and this was late in the 80s, this is at the end of the set. We was doing, um, I was doing a program on um, police brutality, I think it was, BAI, a, a normal radio on, on, on police brutality. And, uh, and I, want, I, I had in my head, I said, I need, I need Patti LaBelle. For some reason, I knew Patti LaBelle had a song that I wanted. And now, Patti LaBelle, from, from, from Patti LaBelle to Bluebells to LaBelle to Patti LaBelle, they're not, well, Bluebells are a little more a little political there, but they, they're not necessarily political. They're just R&B, regular R&B, you know, I like the beat, all this, that stuff. But I knew that she had one song, and it was, and, and I realized, then I remember, it was it's an album she put out in the early 80s called, I think it's called In the Spirit or something like that. So almost, I can see the cover. I went ahead to big album covers, you know, in art. Okay. And on the thing, one of the songs, uh, the the um, I think it's called shoot 'em on sight. Well, the refrain is shoot 'em on sight. So I use that, you know. So out of all the whole thing that Patty is, uh, whole life, you only has this one political song. I mean, overtly political song. Now other people have masses. I won't get into all that stuff. But do you understand what I'm saying? So these day and age, if 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 you if, if a CD comes out and you got 16 cuts, I'm asking, where's the social song? Where, where where's the political? But I don't. Buy CDs now, so I don't really know. Why well, do buy CDs some some places? Um, some people do, but you can't hardly find, especially not in the, in the, the popular stuff. It's all it, it, even if they had a social relevant, uh, can't say that word relevant, a socially uh, conscious uh, thing on anything or politically conscious on thing, they would be so overwhelmed with all this other stuff, you know, about killing this and and and, and banging that and calling people this name or whatever have you, beefing blah 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 blah. That takes precedence because everybody wants to see a fight. That's what's sexy. You know, what's the news thing? You know, if it, if it bleeds, it leads. So that's basically the same formula they use with our popular culture. But that popular culture seeks in your, into our brains. This is the problem. It seeks into your brains. Look, and, and then the, the, and then of course the, the, the infectious beats or whatever have you, you know, let me put it this way. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I'm not really an organized religious person. You know what I mean? I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. I'm spiritual. You know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not really into church and stuff like that. But I do love gospel music. But there's something about that 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 stirs my thing. You know what I mean? And I love gospel music. I don't go to church to hear gospel music, but I like gospel music. You know, I'm not even the popular. You give me some Kurt Franklin, yeah, blah, 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 whatever that. You know. But even the. I like mass choirs especially, right? That's what I like. And if they start singing, not just about Jesus, say they change the, 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 the lyric instead of saying Jesus to Horus, you know, Horus from the, the, the Egyptian pantheon, you know, the, the, the precursor to all this other Jesus stuff, Horus, the original, one of the originals. Right? If they start saying, saying Jesus, saying about Horus, right? Then your consciousness would change. Your white Jesus thing would change because your image, even though Jesus wasn't white as you know, it's like the thing that Leonard Jeffers brings up with this thing, but, but we do. But 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 if you kept on saying Horace, people have to look up Horace, and the images of Horace are not like the images of Jesus. Therefore, you can change the whole religious thing by just doing a whole song or change the songs instead of saying Jesus, raise up Horace. You know, you understand? H O R U S. That's how you spell it. Jesus even ripped that off. Okay. So you always have some, some some sort of song that would have that kind of thing. I mean, oh look, I got my who no no go no. Think about it. Just let it go through your head. You figure it out. This is a saying that from a fella Anna Klapakuti. You know. Now I first knew about again when I was doing my no more radio not no more when I was doing variations black at the WRSU at, at Rutgers University when I was going to Livingston College uh, we, 
I went uh, one time. We I took a crew of us. No, maybe it's just me. Went up to um, uh, was it RVR? Was it RVR? Yeah, RVR. The, the station that was at, at the at um, oh man, Saint John, not Saint John the Divine. What am I talking about? The Riverside Church had a radio station there and it was dedicated to jazz. Now on a, I think it was a Saturday, whatever it was. Uh, you know, Felipe Luciano had a program right after him. Came on this brother, Brother Wayne, one of the best broadcasters ever. About peace and blessings on his eternal soul. I shook Brother Wayne's hands, you know. Broadcast. I'm, I have a long broadcast history with some really exceptional people. Anyway, we won't get into that. But, you know, I'm a young college kid. Well, I'm a college kid. And um, so, you know, we, we two in the station, and me talking, blah, blah, blah. He, he does his program. And at the program, program he said, Look, you're going to go back. I want to give you something. So he gives me this copy of a. Uh, 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 Fella Ransom Cootie, I think it was, uh, uh, Egypt 70 or something like that. You know, it's that cover where, where all the women are there with, with, the, with the bare breasts or whatever have you. Now remember, you know, he married all those women because they were, there was some beef and so from the average, he just married them all, just protect them. We won't get into that. You have to look at that yourself. But the point is, so that's when I first learned about, you know, Fella. And Fella's overtly political, most of overt. So I was one of the first people as far as college radio, but I was playing Fella all the time, you know. Did on various papers. Ah, love that tea. <clears throat> so what? What am I saying? There was some point. I think it was, I think it was in the 80s, late 80s, they, they, or some point that I think the big record companies, what they did, they made a decision that they would be, uh, they started to buy out these little labels like the, like the Philly International labels and stuff. Find out a little they were doing really heavy political social things. They started to buy them out, okay? And when they bought them out, of course, all that consciousness from all those people just went away because now you're owned by some big company with a bunch of, I don't say white people, but people that have the, that mentality of, of racist white supremacy mentality. It could be white, black, doesn't matter what, what they look like. Their mentality, what they do. So they want to get rid of that offensive stuff, that stuff will excite people in a wrong direction. They need to excite people to, to I don't know, away from you know, just away from destroying the system, right? Maybe that's what they, maybe that's the other thing. So, so, the, so the point is, at a particular point, you know, we I can pull any record and I can make a mix that has some consciousness. But in fact, these days, if I pull popular music, what, what am I going to get? I mean, what am I really going to get? And then, plus, they keep on pushing the same, same people. Here in South Africa, all we hear about, we don't hear about anybody but Jay-Z and Beyonce. I can pull up something right now and think right now, Jay, B, and Z, Beyonce, that's all we hear about. I mean, even Kanye's fall off, you know what I mean? They keep on putting the same people, and then, then, on the, then of course, if Jay-Z and Beyonce do something that's untoward, believe me, they'll be shut aside, and there'll be another king and queen. But they've been around for a long, long time. It's, and it, they're not really, I mean, you know, okay. My point is, a lot of these folks, once you get into that level, you, you know, you stop your education, you stop your whatever, you know what I mean? You, you, you don't read, you're not reading uh, 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 Harold Cruz or, 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 Le or Leonard Jeffries, you know, or you, you're not reading, reading you know, uh, uh, Dr. Amos Wilson. In fact, forget, forget everybody else. Everybody should stop what you're doing, get some Amos Wilson. Forget about reading him, he's got videos, but just listen to Amos Wilson. We won't even get into Dr. John Henry Clark or... or, or, or Anybody like that, you know, Dr. Ben or, you know, like that, you know, so, like, uh, you know, and, 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 and there are books that are smaller that are out here. I wonder if I have my, my, uh, I don't have it here. I can't see it right now. But, uh, there, and there, there are other things that you can get. Like, let me show you something here. Let me show you here. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, here's the Booker T one. Now, let me, let me get that one. Let me. Leave that one alone. Let me give you this one. This, this one. And it's all, all kinds of, for all kinds of levels. Like, for instance, this is a Black Panthers for Beginners by Herb Boy. Okay? Black, we're not talking about the movie Black Panther. It's about the Black Panther Party. And this is a book he did for young people. And now I'm put it upside down. It's just loads of pictures, whatever have you. So, you know, now what, what if a hip hopper, well, I'm just saying hip hopper, anybody, took this entire book and made an opera, made a hip hop opera about the history of the Black Panther? Maybe, or here, here, African history for, African history for beginners. Again, this is her boy giving this, this her, yeah, her boy giving this book. You know, what if, you know, what if our African brothers who keep on, you know, imitating hip hop, whatever have you, or whatever, if they took and they, and they made a compendium for, the, for a book like this, right? You see, well, even this. 
Uh, Booker, uh, Booker T and Africa, the making of a uh, Pan-Africanist. This says that Booker T is a Pan-Africanist. This is his sister wrote this. Uh, 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 Terry uh, uh, Wright, Doctor Doctor Wright. She wrote. Trey, she wrote this book. Very interesting book. You Pan-Africanist. You read this book. Okay. So what am I saying? Uh, I'm saying that it's the culture. We, we if, it's the culture. If we can, if we can. It, it, I'm not saying you stop with your 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 gangster, whatever have you. But even in the gangster pantheon, there's got to be some history of gangsters. If you, if uh, Tuki Williams, you know the guy that started the Crips Bloods, whatever he started, he started write children's books. What hip hop is is. is Take his books and put it. You see, how can we do his? Uh, how can we uh, put his life into perspective? Because he he had a vast life. He started as, as a little skinny kid. He da 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 da. He gets bullied. Becomes part of a gang. And then he starts again. Da da da. Goes to jail. Repents. Da da da. It's a full life. We keep on taking these little slithers of, of criminal act. Or criminal. Little slithers, slithers of negative things in black so-called black culture and elevating them to such a point that everybody thinks that's what it is. And it's not it's not necessary. So anyway, so part of this ADO is, is we have to get everybody, I'm talking about, they have a lot of little comic groups now that's on on, on the thing, but well, they should be doing an ADOS uh, 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 inspired uh, comic bit. Uh, you, any, anything ADOS, boom, 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 you should, you should be doing it. And ADOS meaning that you want you want to deal with this whole thing of a debt due, a debt due. Okay, I waxed on a lie too much. I'm getting all all tangled up as we, you know, they tangle you up a lot here in this in this in this existence here in uh, the wilderness of of North America. Anyway, but this is a, a little uh, tangled up message for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a des, one des, of the of the American descendants of chattel slavery. This is our des. What's my dad saying now? But don't worry, don't worry about that. This is not an official ADOS thing. I don't know who's official these days. I'm just one of the cogs in the wheel.